fight between Tyron Woodley and Damian Mike. So here he is, the number one welterweight contender, getting set to challenge for the UFC's 170-pound title. It took a long winning streak in many years for him to realize this opportunity. He is not taking it lightly. He has said all here during fight week he's appreciative of this opportunity, but he is confident he is going to maximize it and leave as not just a contender, but a UFC champion. Defending undisputed UFC welterweight champion in a division full of killers, he has remained the hunted at 170 pounds. Now, unquestionably staring at his toughest challenger to date, can he go back home as the champion? If he can, another chapter to one of the greatest welterweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. For this, our main event of the evening. The American is 38, the Brazilian is 42. He is four inches taller. Woodley will have the two inch reach advantage. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC welterweight championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 28 wins, 10 losses. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, presenting the challenger, Damian Maia. And now introducing the champion. Martial artist with a professional record of 19 wins, six losses, and one draw. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri, USA, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world, Tyron, the chosen one. UFC belt on the line, guys. Protect yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. Because that one skill he has is so good 
that you're, you're in danger the entire time. Great punch. Oh, single collar tie here. Fighters engaging in the clinch here early. Just missed with the left there. Lands the right hand. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh! Mission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submissions. And ladies and gentlemen, there he is, a man that needs no introduction, the undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world and your winner tonight by way of spectacular submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, two seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out. And new undisputed UFC welterweight champion So he dedicated decades of his life to this very goal, and he is now the UFC champion. No one can ever take that away from him. Yeah, man, you gotta take a lot of confidence from staying so committed to a goal for so long. The moment he walked into the UFC, he said, I will be the champion. He got it done tonight. And you gotta take your hat.